Do you remember from our last episode the most important fact about magnetism? Switched on and switched off. Switched on and switched off. That's it. We can switch it on and off. A magnet is always a magnet. An electromagnet can be switched on and switched off. Yes, we know now. And switched off. Switched off. Switched. Well, that's better. In this episode. We'll tell you much more about electromagnetism and what it can do. With electromagnetism, we can reverse polarity. I can reverse the north to the south pole and the south to the north pole. Electromagnets also have a north and a south pole. Yes, they do. This magnet has two poles. North and south, depending on on which polarity. Here is a normal magnet attached to a piece of cardboard. Here is the electromagnet. The electromagnet will interact with this normal magnet on the cardboard. When I turn on here, they repel. But if I reverse the polarity. Of the power, they'll attract. Now the poles are the opposite. Now this used to be south, but now it's north. Now this used to be north, but now it is south. Show us again, would you? If the, if the poles are the same, they'll repel. If the poles are different, they will attract. What about two coils? Then we have two electromagnets. Here are two coils. If the polarities are opposite, they will attract each other, like so. If the polarities are the same. They will repel. What is all this pushing and pulling really good for? That's a good question, and here's a good answer. Many more things than you can think of and imagine in your daily lives, and here is a very good example. A train engine. The electric power comes from the power supply to the rails, from the way from the rails to the electric wheels, the special metal ones. Goes from the wheels to the motor inside the engine. The electric motor inside the engine is just another electromagnet, except this. Electromagnet inside turns. We'll show you later. By reversing polarity, we can either go forward or backwards. So far, we have explained two functions of an electromagnet. It can be switched on and switched off, and reverse polarity or normal polarity. Can we see how the motor does it? No, not unless we take the engine apart. But here is a similar motor to show you. This motor here will show you. How you change direction? I can reverse the motor by changing the switch over, and that's what makes the engine go backwards and forwards. What is the third function of electromagnetism? 
The third function of an electromagnet is you can turn the intensity up and down, therefore making the, the engine going faster or slower. First, we'll start off with slow. Then fast. Then reverse. That is the third function of electromagnetism. How does the reversal switch work? When the switch is down, positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative. But when I flick it up, it crosses over. See? Positive goes to negative, negative goes to positive. Here is another way to show how the switch works. These two bells here. One of them needs negative here, and one of them needs positive. When I flick the switch up, it hits this one. When I flick it down, it hits this one. And when you put it back and forth, it goes into sort of like a tune of a doorbell. It is interesting how a doorbell works. Let's have a look. Here, there are two electromagnets. And here is a switch for it. When you turn on, it'll just attract. But since the switch disconnects, it isn't a magnet anymore. And there's a spring and that'll bring it back and it'll connect, come down, connect, come down, come up, connect, come down, come up, connect, and come down. If you put the switch in circuit, it'll turn on and off. And one last word. Electromagnetism is one of the most important discoveries of mankind. In our next episode, we'll explore electromagnetism in reverse. See you then.